In this video, we'll be talking about how to collect feed samples. We'll first look at, at how to take a feed sample with a sleeved probe. The supplies you'll need for this portion of the video include a double sleeve feed probe, disinfectant wipes, nitrile or latex disposable gloves, and a whirl pack or a plastic storage bag. Start by wiping the external and internal compartment of the double sleeve probe with a disinfectant wipe. Once that is done, slide the internal compartment back into the external compartment. Then insert the sleeve tube into the feed that is wanting to sample with the square compartments open. Then you will rotate the inner compartment to close the open rectangles to collect a feed sample. Then you will withdraw the feed probe from the feed and then dump the internal, the feed located in the internal compartment into a bag. Now, when taking a second sample with the same feed probe, you will then insert it at a varying depth from the last one. So then you will insert the feed probe at half the depth or whatever depth you choose, and then rotate the inner compartment to collect the feed sample and then pour the feed back into the same plastic bag. This will be done eight additional times with all varying depths to make a complete feed sample using a feed probe. After you have collected 10 samples utilizing the double sleeve probe from the complete feed or feed ingredient of choice, be sure to seal the plastic bag containing the samples and then using your permanent marker, write on the bag the sample number, the ingredient or complete feed that was sampled, and the date the sample was taken. This sample is now ready to be logged and submitted for laboratory analysis. Next, we will talk about how to feed sample via cut stream. The supplies needed for this methodology are disinfectant wipes, nitrile or latex disposable gloves, an 8 ounce cup, and a whirl pack or plastic storage bag. Place the 8 ounce cup underneath the stream of desired sampling ingredient or material and fill it up halfway. This should be about 4 ounces of feed collected within the cup. Then dump the contents in the cup into a single plastic storage bag. You'll need to sample the stream nine additional times that are evenly spaced in time throughout the load, ensuring that each sample goes in the same plastic bag. Once you have collected 10 samples from the stream of either feed ingredient or complete feed, be sure to seal the plastic bag containing all 10 feed samples and with your permanent marker, label the bag with the sample number, what was sampled, and the date that the sample was taken. This sample is now ready to be logged and submitted for laboratory analysis.